Hello everybody. Uh, before you watch any more of this video, uh, I just put my kids to sleep, so there is no guest appearance tonight by any uh, cute little three and a half year old. Uh, so for those of you that are more of a fan of them than me, you can just go ahead and stop watching now. For the rest of you, the couple people out there that are more interested in the beer, uh, I do have a cool beer to talk about today. Um, this is, it came out a couple weeks ago from Tired Hands Brewery in Philadelphia. This is the Raspberry Double Milkshake IPA. Um, it's part of their culinary series, which are kind of fun um, and really hard to get. I mean, I'm so lucky that I've got a guy that can uh, hook me up with some of these great beers out there because they're really tough. People put their lawn chairs out like you know, 11 o'clock and they don't release until like 5 o'clock. I mean, it's it's just kind of crazy competitive. Um, so this is brewed with raspberries and lactose sugar. Um, so I heard from people that this is much more berry-ish uh, on the palate than the strawberry milkshake. Uh, I think I have a review of the strawberry milkshake in there too. But let's see what we smell on this one. Nice. It's uh so and it's cold again and which you know it's so hard on to pick up aromatics on certain beers when they're still really really cold. Um but I do smell raspberry for sure. It's actually really nice. It's like uh it's kind of this like faint. It's not like berry basket in your face. Um but it's like it's like a kiss of raspberry. It's as if you smushed a raspberry and just sort of <laughs> swirled it around the rim of your glass. Um, it's kind of like that. So you get like, you get kind of this sweet, it's almost like a dessert drizzle of raspberry on a, on a dessert, you know, and you just get like an essence of raspberry there. Uh, and, and other than that, I mean, there's a little bit of hop aroma going on too that's kind of like tropical behind there, but yeah, actually it smells really nice. Um, it's, I can tell that this will get more complex as it warms up, but let's see what we taste. Oh wow, wow, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, <clears throat> so for those of you that don't like sweeter beers, don't get this. However, uh, I mean, I'm typically not a fan of, of sweeter beers. I would love to know what the final gravity is on this. Um, it leaves, I think the, the sweetness on this is perfect for supporting the raspberry flavor. I think without that, if it was bone dry, it would leave you missing raspberry, and I think that that actually plays really well into the raspberry. Yeah, what's interesting is I think if, if the strawberry version was this sweet, everyone would be saying there's so much more strawberry on it. Uh, so it's it's got, in terms of mouthfeel, it's this big full mouthfeel. I mean, it's a dessert beer, right? I mean, this is like, this is like the port wine of the wine world, right? You know, big, sweet, luscious, kind of like velvety palate. Um, I, oh, it's even like leaving my lips feeling sticky. Like I just had like, like a syrup or I just ate waffles, which I actually did this morning. Um, really nice. I mean, I, I love it. This is not a beer I would drink every day. This is a, uh, it's a desserty. This is like, you need to go work out. And you know, I ran a mile this morning. Um, I'm glad I did. I, I'll get a few sips in and that basically nullifies the mile. But I like it, I like it a lot. Big raspberry, delicious.